Hi students, welcome to NIRS online YouTube channel. So, in this class, we are going to revise the lesson fundamental unit of life for the preparation of uh, the midterm examination. So, already this lesson is completed. Now, let's revise the highlight points of this lesson examination point of view so already we know that the cell is the most very very important unit so that is going to define the organism so the cell is going to uh, mean as a small room so or it is a small smallest structure so in that one again we can see the different organelles that is the different matter but here the organisms either it may be the plants or it may be the animal or it may be the microorganism so all the organisms are made by the cell that's why this is considered as the fundamental unit of life the fundamental unit of life so we have already that knowledge uh, on the earth so many variety of organisms are there so many types of plants are there in and so many uh, kinds of animals are also there so each and every organism is made up of the cell either it may be the plant or it may be the animal so depending upon the number of cells present in an organism the organisms are going to be classified into two groups depending upon the number of cells present in an organism the organisms are classified into two groups that is the unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms so already we know that unicellular means single celled unicellular means single celled organism and multicellular means the organisms which are made up of more than two or more than two cells so that is called the multicellular organism so many organisms are there which are made by only a single cell like the bacteria amoeba euglena paramecium and uh, viruses so, so many organisms are there they are made up of the only one cell they are called the unicellular and uh, the multicellular means uh, uh, from the two three four five cells are present in an organism or we can see the very and very huge type of the organisms like the elephant or the blue whales in the seas so we can imagine uh, if uh, the cell is not visible to our naked eyes that much it is the smallest and uh, the largest animal that we can imagine how many cells are present in an organism such as in the blue whale so this is a very wonderful planet that is the earth where we can see the variety the colorful and the different categorized organisms in this on this planet so students let's move towards the difference between the unicellular and multicellular organisms here you can see the differences between the unicellular and multicellular organisms so unicellular means they are represented by a single cell multicellular means they contains a large number of cells so 
the unicellular means the whatever the life activities done by an organism is performed by a single cell only but a single cell performs or uh, performs one or few activities of the organisms okay so in the multicellular organisms single cell means together uh, many cells joins and they will perform a single function but in the unicellular organisms only a single cell it performs all the functions of the organism so uh, we can't see the division of the labor as the single cell perform all the life activities but in the multicellular organisms the specialized cells are there which are going to perform the different different functions so we can see the labor within the cells so the reproduction is going to take place by a single cell only and uh, only some cells of the body called the germ cells take part in the reproduction so other cells that is like the somatic cells remain intact so the life span of an individual is short in the unicellular organism and the life span of an organism in the multicellular organisms is very long so some organisms are going to live their 400 to 500 600 700 years but in the lifespan of the unicellular organisms it is totally different and uh, it is very short and uh, the cell was discovered by uh, the biologist that is the Robert Hook in the year of uh, 1665 so he was discovered he discovered the cells by his own microscope so microscope is a device through which we can observe the structure of the cells as well as the minute particles so this is uh, the microscope you can see in this picture that was designed by Robert Hook this here you can see the cells also the dead cork cells uh, seen by the Robert Hook in the microscope which was designed by the Robert Hook itself and uh, he was given the name for those structures as the cell but later in the 1674 a Dutch uh, biologist that is uh, Anton uh, Leeuwenhoek has discovered or he has designed a microscope which we are using in our uh, schools nowadays so this is about uh, the discovery and uh, the basic information regarding uh, the fundamental unit of uh, life that is the cell and the differences between the unicellular and uh, multicellular organisms so this is uh, the revision class for the uh, preparation of the midterm examinations so students please uh, be in contact and uh, try to read uh, uh, the lessons properly if you have any doubts regarding this one you can send the questions or doubts to my whatsapp number thank you and have a nice day